right, so we've got our meeting link configured in HubSpot. We've got our calendar connected, uh, but our meeting link is just a scheduled time on the calendar. Uh, we don't yet have any sort of video conferencing configured here. And so how do we do that? How do we connect a, a video conference software like Zoom or Google Meets or uh, Microsoft Teams uh, to our meeting link so that it automatically populates a link for a prospect or um, a customer or client or just a team member to be able to hop up on when they book you uh, using that meeting link. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this through the lens of Google Meets. Google Meets is probably the easiest software to set up and connect. It's free and anybody can do it very simply. Uh, the one corollary to this is that uh, in order to connect Google Meets, you will have to have uh, specific permissions um, applied by your administrator in your account. And so these permissions, let me see if I can find somebody in here who um, th doesn't have that permission yet. Um, let's, uh, let's just see here if I can swap that over. The specific permission that your administrator needs to apply is app marketplace access. So this needs to be turned on for you to be able to connect up at Google Meets. Okay, so assuming your administrator has set you up with the app marketplace access, here's what you do next. So you're gonna navigate to the marketplaces section up here in HubSpot. You're gonna to go to the app marketplace. From here, you're going much like an app store on the iPhone or the Play Store on an Android, you're going to go ahead and search for the app that you want. In this case, it's gonna be Google Meet. Search up that app, click on it, and move forward with the, the installation here. From here, you're gonna connect an account. Uh, it has to be a Google account. Don't worry, if you don't have one, you can very easily set one up for free. That's the major benefit of Google Meets over Zoom or Teams. Those two implementations require a company business account. Uh, this is something that anybody can set up uh, on their own sort of deal, as long as they have the permissions to do that. So that's why we do uh, like the Google Meets integration um, and using that video software, because it's very easy to set up. Uh, so just connecting the account here, uh, you know, just going through, signing in, trusting and continuing. Um, you can go ahead and do that. And then you'll get a refresh that says, hey, we've connect you've got Google Meets here in your, your app. It's connected now. Um, so how we add that now to our meeting is just going to go back to your library and to the meeting scheduler. Hit edit on your meeting link, and you can add and in this location section, you'll find add video conference link. You're going to click on that, and then suddenly you do have Google Meet as an option. You can go ahead and save that, and now every time someone books with your meeting link, you will have an attached Google Meets um, link that allows them to jump on a video call at that time and place. Hope this was informative. Thanks for watching and keep removing those revenue roadblocks. If you want more videos like this, follow our channel for fresh new content every day. Check out our RevOps playlist or how about this video chosen just for you. See you next time.